If you are preparing for Snowflake Gen AI exam, this video is non-negotiable. Why? Because Domain 1 alone contributes 26% of the Gen AI certification exam and most people underestimate it thinking it is just an overview. If you already watched my overall exam strategy video, this is the deep dive into Domain 1. In this video, I will clearly tell you why this domain is important, what Snowflake expects you to know for the certification exam and what it doesn't, how to study this domain in the right sequence, what kind of questions actually appears in the exam and where hands-on is useful versus where theory is enough. An important note before we move ahead, this video is part of my Snowflake Specialty GNI series for the GES C01 exam aligned with August 2025 syllabus. If Snowflake revise this domain 1 in future, I will add an updated video to this playlist and this one may be deprecated. Only if that happens, you will find the updated link in the YouTube card or check the description section for the revised video. So let's start. Domain 1 is not about writing Gen AI apps. It's about proving that you understand Snowflake's Gen AI philosophy. And in the certification exam, Snowflake wants to validate do you understand Snowflake's Gen AI principles, capabilities, limitations, and trade offs? Can you make secure, cost aware, region aware design decision while building Gen AI apps or a data product to solve real business problem? So think of this domain as can Snowflake trust you design genuine systems responsibly on their platform? So let's discuss in which order you have to study and what you can expect in the exam. You have to first start with Snowflake Genii principle and its feature category and how to solve structure and unstructured use cases using different feature and how Snowflake maps these different use cases under different Snowflake Cortex feature different interfaces like SQL, Playground, or REST, followed by security, privacy, access control principles, moving to cross-region inferences, finally opt-in and opt-out cortex features and behavioral changes. If you jump randomly, you will get confused. If I go a little deeper, Snowflake's Gen AI features fall into four big buckets, cortex LLM function, cortex analyst, which is primarily for structured data, Cortex search, which is primarily for unstructured and RAG application, and then Cortex agent, which is your agentic orchestration. Every exam question is basically which bucket fits this use case and why. Let's start with Cortex LM function. There are two type of Gen AI SQL function, AI SQL function. Either it is general purpose or task specific. Let's say complete and try complete are a very general purpose AI SQL function. On the other side, task specific like classification or extract or sentiment analysis. Snowflake will test when to use this task specific versus general AI SQL function, how to get structured output, which parameters are required and how this fit into for your end-to-end -end data pipeline, for example, sentiment analysis or entity extraction. If you look into this example here, I can also use try complete or a complete. However, I'm using a purpose specific function called AI classify. And let me run here. Here, this is returning only one label. And in the exam, they would ask, what if I have to pick the multiple label? Let's run this. Likewise, if I have to extract information from my prompt, and I can use AI underscore extract. And here is my answer. Make sure you try this function and understand what is the purpose of each function and what all the different parameters are there. And you need to have a broader level understanding for which use case you will use general purpose AI SQL function or purpose build AI SQL function. Typically in exam, you are given a use case plus multiple SQL option, pick the correct function and syntax. Important to remember, the models may be attached or abstracted while calling this AI SQL function. Function names may be abstracted in questions and the focus is on intent, not memorizing the exact syntax. Once you have a high level understanding about general purpose and purpose built SQL function, next understand the Cortex Analyst, which is for analyzing structured data, text to SQL, 
talk to your data kind of use cases. As a part of this domain, you should understand what is this semantic model and how it is supported via YAML file within this stage location. And the exam will ask you a question, a business user want to talk to its data using a natural language, which eventually get converted into a SQL on a table, which feature would you use? The answer is Cortex Analyst. Next AI feature is Cortex Search. Cortex Search is for unstructured data, rag-based application, and document search, embedding, and retrieval. Snowflake expects you to know when vector embedding is required, why Cortex Search fits rag, and how it differs from Cortex Analyst. Typical exam scenario will give you some PDF, document, some knowledge base, and in such case, which Snowflake Gen AI feature should be used to solve this problem and answer is Cortex Search. Moving to fourth category, which is Cortex Agent. Primarily, the Cortex Agent combines analyst and search together and support one-to-many relationship. What does it mean? That you can create an agentic workflow which uses multiple Cortex Analyst and multiple Cortex Search features to completely create an agentic workflow. Here, focus on conceptual understanding. All those Snowflake features can be accessed through the REST API. This domain also add a specific subsection called how to access these Gen AI features. Snowflake provides multiple interfaces. You can use Cortex LLM Playground. You can also use Snowflake Worksheet or any other mechanism to execute AI SQL function. And finally, you can also access those Gen AI feature via REST API, whether you want to leverage Cortex Analyst, Cortex Search, or Cortex Agent. Coming to a very important subtopic, which is part of security, privacy, access, and control principles. Under which we have is subsection called RBAC, Model Allow List, Required Privileges, Database Role versus Application Role, Grant and Revoke Patterns. You must understand how to enable or restrict different LLM models, how access differs by role, why guardrail exists, its impact on cost, behavior, and compliances. This section heavily overlap with domain 3, so don't skip this one. And the last one is cross-region inferences and behavioral changes. Snowflake will test what is the role of Cortex-enabled cross-region parameter, and when it is applied, what is the impact on latency versus availability trade-off alongside the cost implication. You should also understand what is a bundled versus unbundled behavior and opt-in versus opt-out feature. These are theory-heavy topics. However, they are easy to crack if you just understand well. You don't need deep coding here, but I strongly recommend create a trial Snowflake account, open LLM playground, explore LLM function, Cortex search, Cortex analyst, and Cortex agent, hands-on exercise builds mental mapping. So even if you get a confusing question, you would be able to pick the right option from those questions. Domain 1 is about understanding Snowflake's Gen AI ecosystem. Focus on feature mapping, security, and design decision. And don't overdo hands-on here. If you remember nothing else, remember this. The structured data is Snowflake Cortex Analyst. Unstructured data is Cortex Search. Orchestration is agents. Let's review some sample question from this domain one. Before we start, a quick disclaimer. The question we are going to discuss are sample style questions. They are not actual exam question, but they closely reflect the pattern, depth, and the traps you can expect in the Snowflake Gen AI certification exam. A team wants to classify customer review as positive, negative, or neutral using SQL pipeline which Snowflake Gen AI capability is most appropriate. You will get four options and generally people will select either complete or this or that. However, this is a task specific function and this is built for classification. Another question, a business user wants to ask a natural language questions on a structured table and receive SQL generated answer. And here you will have options like Cortex Search, Cortex Analyst, Cortex LLM Playground and Vector Embedding. The answer is Cortex Analyst because Cortex Analyst operate on structured data through the semantic YAML file and it allows talk to your data or text to SQL way to bring the result from your structured data. 
here is our cortex analyst and these are the subsection which you have to cover as a part of domain 1 next you are building a rag application on pdf stored in your stage again you will be given four option like cortex analyst cortex llm function cortex search and cortex agent the correct answer is cortex search because unstructured data and retrieval of those informations is supported by cortex search and you should have that high level understanding how you talking about this subsection called different interfaces the exam may ask which interface can be used to access snowflake genii capabilities select all it is a multi select option they will give options like cortex llm playground as ai sql functions rest api snowpy so except snowpy all other options are correct you may also get a question like a user wants to compare responses from multiple llm interactively which interface is best suited SQL function, REST API, Cortex LLM Playground, or a Cortex Search. Obviously, the answer is Cortex LLM Playground. They may also ask what would be the SQL when you run the Cortex LLM Playground. So make sure that you go and try that out and understand how the SQL is generated. Now, coming to security, RBAC, and guardrail, you may get a question like an organization wants to restrict model usage to a specific team. which snowflake concept is most relevant and the keyword is highlighted during the exam this keyword will not be highlighted but my intent is to help you that pick the keyword whether it is most relevant or something else accordingly you have to pick the right option so your answer could be cross region interface role based access control cortex search index or semantic model the answer is rbac the next is from the limitation a required model is not available in the current cloud region how can inference still be performed you may have option called fine tune the model or bring the model from outside or enable cortex enabled cross region parameter at account level and that is the right answer likewise what is the key trade off when enabling cross region inference and they may throw options like reduced accuracies increased latency and cost loss of rbac and reduce availability and the answer is increased latency now one last question from bring your own model from this particular topic a model not available in snowflake's default list must be deployed which approach supports this again cortex analyst snowflake model registry snowpark container services and cortex search here if you have a multi select your option should be snowflake model registry followed by snowpark container services Every question in this domain is basically Snowflake asking can you map the use case with the right genii feature its trade off limitations and best practices So I have covered pretty much what I have promised at the beginning of this video If domain 1 felt clear after this video domain 2 and domain 3 will decide whether you will pass or a fail so don't skip them and check the description section for practice exam test which mimics the real certification exam and check all the video link in the description section or in the card above thanks for watching this video this channel is dedicated to helping you master snowflake data engineering and genii skills without the complexity and if you want to take your learning to the next level you can also explore my udemy courses for deeper and structured training see you in the next video keep learning and keep growing